In this video, learn how to take a screenshot and how to print from your Samsung Galaxy S24. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do is hold down on your power and your volume down button for one second and then let it go. This will trigger a screenshot. Here we go, power, volume down, hold, let it go. You'll see the screen flash, tap on the bubble at the bottom, and then it will ask you which app you want to edit the photo in. I normally like to do it in the gallery. Hit just once. Now here's my picture here, and I can simply hit the pencil if I want to crop the picture, and then I can drag from the corners to adjust which part of the picture is cropped. And then from there, I can access uh, some other controls here, filters and different things like that. I can write on the picture if I go all the way to here. And you have um, an AI option here. A lot of cool things you can do. When you're all done, you're gonna hit the save button in the upper right corner. And um, it'll ask you if you wanna keep that current resolution or if you wanna increase it. I'm gonna increase it a bit. And then when it's done, we can access this photo in our gallery. Now, um, I can actually, from here, I can print this photo by going to the upper right corner, tapping on the three dots, and tapping on the print button. Now, a couple of things to note with printing. First thing, you will need a wireless printer, um, and you will need Wi-Fi to do this. So I'm currently connected to Wi-Fi already. So if I tap select a printer, this little drop down right here, it's gonna show my Canon printer right here. I'm gonna simply tap it. And if I then tap this drop down right here, I can change how many copies print. If I want it to be color or black and white, um, I can change the letter size, orientation, all these cool options here. And then I'm gonna tap on this print button to send it to the printer. Now, I'm gonna link uh, the current printer that I'm using, which is an Epson printer. Now I'm gonna link to uh, a newer printer because the printer I'm using now is, is, is outdated. There's a, a newer printer that's really um, reasonable in price. And I'll link that on the screen right here and also link in the description if you're looking for just a really simple wireless printer to be able to print from your phone. Um, now, this was how to print a picture. I'm gonna back out of this and if I back out again, here we go. Now I wanna to go to my gallery, which is right here, and I can pick any other picture and I can do the exact same thing. I can simply just select it, and then I can tap the three dots there and print. So that's how easy it is to print a picture. Now, if you wanna print an email, I'm gonna to go to Gmail, and I already have a, a, an email already open here, I wanna print this, I'm gonna go to the upper right corner, tap on the three dots, and go to print. Follow the same exact steps I just showed you to print this email. And then, if I wanna print a web page, I'm gonna hit the home button. I'm gonna to go to Google Chrome. I already have a web page that's open, and let's say I want to print this page. I'm gonna to go to the upper right corner, tap on these three dots. Now guess what? Where is that print button? It was on screen for the other pages I showed you. Well, it's a little different when you print a web page. First thing you need to do is go to share. And then when you go to share, you'll tap the print button that's right here. And that'll take you to the print settings. Sometimes it will take a few seconds as it has to bring up the web page first, but all the pages are loaded and you can actually uncheck a page, maybe you don't want the fourth page to print, just uncheck it. Oh, third page, uncheck it. I only want page two and page one. So I'm gonna keep those two checked. And then you're gonna tap that print button after you select the printer you wanna use. You'll tap the print button and it'll send right to the printer. All right? If you found that helpful, hit that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.